when we create uh, uh, virtual servers we need uh, imagine machine instance that is ami now what is ami basically ami is used for creating the instances uh, it could be one instance it could be multiple instances that mean uh, like uh, when we use a uh, virtualization solutions or hypervisors uh, we generally install windows or linux uh, servers or operating system with the help of uh, iso file that mean uh, the operating systems are generally distributed in the form of uh, iso so when we have to create the virtual machines uh, uh, by using virtualization or uh, hypervisor we have to use the iso but in the cloud uh, and especially when we are using the aws cloud when we are going to create the server for creating the server what we need we need ami imagine machine instance uh, and it can be used for creating one or multiple instances uh, now when uh, we have to uh, uh, create the virtual server so what we will do we will go into the first ec2 menu in from ec2 menu what we are going to do we are going to select ec2 dashboard now please remember there are many ways uh, for creating the instance but in our case uh, we will be using the console method you can create the instances by using cli mode also but uh, um, uh, in this course we will be mainly focusing on the aws console so we will go into the dashboard and then we will click on the launch instance now whenever you have to create the launch uh, uh, we have to launch the instances various steps are involved so mainly seven steps are involved we will be looking at each and every step uh, uh, in greater detail so first uh, of all we have to choose the ami that means which operating system we want to um, install or uh, uh, from which ami we want to launch the instance then uh, we have to choose the instance type that means how much resources we want to give that means how many processor how many ram we want to give uh, that we are going to choose for an instance type then we have to configure the instance like uh, how many instances uh, we want in which zone we want lot of details uh, uh, we can configure uh, uh, for the instance then we have to add the storage also how much storage we want then we uh, for identifying the virtual servers we need to add the tag like uh, um, uh, we can tag it that this is web server this is mail server that then we have to configure the security group security group mean firewalls that mean uh, who can assess those instances what port should be open that will be uh, configured using security group then when uh, in seventh step whatever we have chosen and before uh, uh, giving the final go that uh, please create the instance uh, we can review the settings and uh, if we find that some setting is not according to our need what we can do we can change so uh, uh, what we are going to do in our case we will first log in uh, from our aws console uh, that are, uh, we have already done so from services we can select different services which are available like ec2 is available s3 is available um, efs is available then in database uh, um, this sql database is, is available no sql database is available and uh, iot is available machine learning is available lot of uh, services are there uh, this vpc is virtual private cloud is there now first of all we have to select the region so these are the different regions that are available uh, so this is oyo region but in our case uh, which region we are going to that mean if you have to select particular region you have to do click on that region so in our case uh, uh, we are going to use the mumbai region and uh, in our case we have already created one key pair in that region so we will go into the ec2 services click on ec2 if you are not able to find you can search also that means you can specify ec2 also 
So what it is saying, launch virtual servers in the cloud. So we are going to click on this. So when we are going to click on this, it is going to show you how many instances are running Elastic IP that we will be looking at what is key pair and now already we have created one key pair so in previous uh, one of the video we created one key because whenever we are going to launch the instances uh, for assessing the instances we have to use this key so now what we are going to do again we will go to the EC2 then uh, already one security group is there no load balancer is there so uh, it is going to show you different information so what we have to do we have to go into the instances so here we are going to click launch instance so when we are going to click on the launch instance it will show you the different uh, option that means choose AMI choose instance type configure instance add storage add tag configure security group review so we will be looking at uh, first of all these things uh, separately what is the meaning of uh, default settings uh, these uh, different option then we will uh, start creating first we will be creating one uh, linux server then we will be creating one windows servers but uh, before that we have to discuss how many type of amis are available and uh, uh, what are the choices when we are doing instance type that means first let us go into uh, greater detail then we will uh, create the uh, this uh, virtual servers so in our case uh, uh, we will be then uh, first let us discuss in all the things in detail